Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lee warns Katie about Poppy, and Finn gives Hope another massage after defending her. Hope notifies Steffi at Forrester Creations that the Logans would be staying there. Steffi tells Hope that no one is attempting to kick her and her mother out. That is not how things work around there. She feels she is paranoid. She warns that her line's respite is just temporary, and if it fails again, it will be terminated. That's it. Finn appears and asks, You want to cancel Hope's line? Annika Noel and Jacqueline McInnes would. At the Forrester Mansion, Brooke tells Ridge that this is the last thing she expected. Ridge is unsure why. She's the ideal candidate for the position. Will you help Steffi and me lead this company forward? He keeps stating his argument and she is amazed that he is so serious about it. Ridge encourages her to say yes. Brooke is flattered, but this is a great responsibility. Ridge reminds her that she's done this before. You can handle this, you can. Brooke appreciates his recognizing her worth. One more question. What about Steffi? What do you think her reaction will be to all of this? More life in pictures. In the design office, RJ believes Luna is having one of the best days of her life now that she knows who her father is. Lee thinks Poppy might have informed her years ago, but she didn't. Katie claims that she was unsure until the paternity test. Lee responds, This definitely changes everything. Katie believes Bill has a lot of time to make up, which I'm sure he's realizing. More. Tanner Novlin teases after wedding shocks. Katie doesn't know Poppy well, but her first impression did not match Lee's. According to Lee, her sister can be highly convincing when necessary. She is certain she understands how important Katie is to Bill, and she does not want to raise any red flags. Poppy will want everyone to believe she is sweet and innocent, but she knows how she truly operates. Katie says, Is she really that calculating? Lee claims she has experienced the same pattern with rich men for years, and assumed it would continue with Bill. Katie wonders if Lee is starting to see her sister differently now. Lee Skufa. Katie invites RJ to visit Luna at Bill's. His dog's bark is worse than their bite. Lee also urges him to go. Lee expresses her disbelief to Katie while they are alone. She honestly believed Poppy was attempting to trap Bill, although Luna is Penelope and Bill's daughter. Poppy expresses her gratitude to Bill and Luna for making her happy, and a whole lot more. Poppy tells Bill that she loves him even more now that they have a child. Bill adores Poppy for giving him Luna. When RJ walks in, Luna informs him, My dad! Bill Spencer's my dad. They hug. Bill wraps his arm around Poppy and they smile. Finn inquires in Forrester's main office as to if he has heard correctly. Forrester's flagship line, Hope for the Future. Is she considering deleting it? Hope wishes to eliminate herself in her line. Steffi believes Hope is twisting her intentions. Hope snaps her intentions. Hope responds that her ambitions may lose her the line that she is so proud of. Finn tells Hope that she should be proud because she has accomplished some fantastic, significant things with Hope for the future. That is why he does not understand. Steffi, why are you doing this to Hope? Jacqueline McInnes would. In the design office, Lee tells Katie how much she admires Bill, who practically saved her life. Sheila runs off the pier, Lee loses her memory, and Bill finds her near the dock behind the restaurant. She was bewildered and traumatized, but he was incredibly gentle and caring. He brought her into his home and nursed her back to health. That is why she wanted to protect him. I'm here today because of your ex-husband, Katie. Katie observes, and your sister now has a daughter with him. Lee tells Katie she only hopes Penelope deserves him. More fans are stunned by Hope's startling claim. At Bill's, RJ expresses his joy for all of them. Luna and Bill talk about how fortunate they are. RJ agrees with Bill that he has landed the jackpot. Luna is perfect and he should absolutely care for her. Bill will adore and protect her. Poppy too. The three of them have lost out on so much time together. But it makes what they have even more precious. He does not want to waste a moment. Which is why I want you to move into my home. Luna and Poppy are stunned. Poppy questions whether this is actually what he wants. Bill says they are a family, and their life together begins right here, right now. At the Forrester estate, 
Brooke informs Ridge that Steffi may not want her to work with them. A Logan. Ridge recognizes that she and Steffi have not always seen eye to eye, but they are both excellent businesswomen and he adores both. Brooke claims they also love him, but she can already see them arguing. Ridge is certain that they can work through any difficulties. He feels it would be excellent for them to operate the company jointly, and it may also benefit their relationship outside of work. More. Ridge has a lot of nerve. In the main office, Steffi reminds her husband that he is a doctor and must stay in his lane. I know Forrester Creations, I know which lines are thriving, and which ones are on the way out. Hope complains that simply because they hit a hard spot, she believes it should be cut without any hope of recovery. Finn wonders if she believes it can. Hope insists that it can, and Ridge and Carter not only agree, but also prevent Steffi from destroying the line. Steffi believes that if the line continues to decline, there will be a problem. Hope complains to Finn that his wife is making the situation personal. She doesn't only want to sever her line. She wants the Logans out of Forrester Creations permanently. Steffi appears frustrated. Finn hopes Steffi bed and breakfast. More. Is Bill indeed Luna's father? Finn informs Steffi that their families are interwoven and that everyone needs to get along. Steffi agrees but Hope takes business decisions personally. Hope accuses her of attempting to undermine her life. Steffi receives a text from Carter and needs to go. She asks Finn to respect her workplace decisions and then leaves. Once alone, Hope apologizes to Finn. He claims it's fine. She claims it's not okay. Just as it's not okay for Steffi to pursue her and her family because they are Logans. She just keeps going after her. I am just exhausted from all this. She is about to have another migraine and wants him to do that tiny thingy. Finn sits beside her, focusing on a pressure point on her hand. Is that helping? Hope responds, yes, and looks at him in some way. At Bill's, RJ says he's thrilled for all of them. Luna and Bill go on about how lucky they are. RJ agrees with Bill that he hit the jackpot. Luna is perfect and he should definitely take care of her. Bill will love and protect her. Poppy too. The three of them have missed out on so much time together. But that makes what they have so much more special. He doesn't want to waste a moment. Which is why I want you to move into my home. Luna and Poppy are stunned. Poppy asks if this is what he truly wants. Bill says they're a family and their life as a family begins right here, right now. At the Forrester Mansion, Brooke tells Ridge that Steffi may not want her working with them. A Logan. Ridge realizes that she and Steffi haven't always seen eye to eye, but they're both great businesswomen and he loves them both. Brooke says they love him too, but she can already see them butting heads. Run the company together, and it might be good for their relationship outside of the office as well. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.